back with another read for you guys. I'm going to do the Heal Yourself Oracles today. They're a new deck, so hopefully they'll bring out some clarity for you guys. We'll get straight into it and say our prayer as always. Dear God, Holy Spirit and Spirit guys, please help me to give this message of clarity to the collective and anything else they may need to know. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. There's been a lot of angel numbers and love energy around lately. So I feel as though there's been union with people and if it hasn't been union it's yet to come there's only a little bit of time to go i never do a little split like that so it is very close and i also found a little red thread the other day so that is significant to the red thread theory if you believe in that and it resonates with you you'll know what i mean <coughs> these cards are so beautiful i love the purple on the side My candle's almost about to go out. I feel like you're almost about to give up on love in a sense. When it's just around the corner. So keep the hope, keep the faith. Yeah, you're stuck in, in something. What's this stuck energy about? Stuck in thinking that it's not for you. It's not going to happen for you. And you don't know that. It might happen for you. It's right around the corner. I'm getting a sense it is right around the corner. Do not give up hope and do not give up faith because it will happen for you. And I feel like you've seen it around you a bit lately. Like it might be happening to your friends or your family. They're just all in love and mushy around you. And you think, oh, when is it going to be my time? Your time is coming. Just know that. 200 on the clock then as well. Union. Completion. Discover your life purpose. Through discovering your life purpose, you will in turn discover other people. And sometimes it's only through discovering ourselves that we can really love somebody else and give ourselves wholeheartedly to somebody else when we know ourselves. And also here with the music, with him playing the violin and she's sitting there listening and the waterfall behind him, there's a deep emotional connection there with somebody and there's passion. So just take note of that. And if this is you with the music, keep following your dreams with the music. I felt like you've given up a bit on your dreams. Don't give up on your dreams. I got that the other day, that giving up on your dreams. Say what you mean. So if you mean no, say no. That was a bit of the other reading the other day too, where you have to really voice your opinion and say no if you mean no, and yes when you mean yes. And ask your angels for help. The cards here are 18 and 29. I'm getting the significance that something happened when you were 18. That they may have bound you in a way to feeling obligated to something. And now you're about the age of 29. Oh, this is very old. So you've got your 18 here and then your 29. There's something significant here with this connection, with the male and the female connection here. There's something significant there. Something happened when you were 18 and it feels you, makes you feel obliged that you have to stay. Now you're about 29. Whoa, that's heavy. What's that about? It's like your duty, even though you don't want to be there. Why would you stay there if you don't want to be there? Self-sabotage and courage. Courage came out the other day. Courage. Self-sabotage number two. Always putting yourself second. You've got to start putting yourself first. Don't let these other people hold you back and their opinions of you outweigh your own. Your opinion has to matter more than what anybody else's opinion does. What's the self-sabotage and no courage about? That's why you're not leaving. Oh, is it? so this is a toxic relationship, is it? Okay. So this is a toxic relationship. 444 four, four on the timestamp now. I feel like you've been asking for signs about this and you've got many, many signs and you keep ignoring them and asking for more signs that are more significant. You need to recognise the sign. Oh, 
You've been crying about it too. You need to recognize the signs when you see them and note, take them for what they are and note that and thank God for that when you get them signs. Because I've just seen five zero zero five minutes on the clock. It's like you've... <laughs> I don't think you realize how much of a powerful manifester you are because when you've asked for these signs and you've said something, they've happened within five minutes of manifestation. So that should show you also extra confirmation. And that kind of rhymes, so maybe you're a poet as well. What else? Anything else with this particular relationship? I don't really like doing these kind of readings. I don't like this energy. But I feel as though it's something you must have obviously needed to hear. Anything else with guidance to this, please? Moving on from it now. I've got a fly buzzing around. As I was saying, um, I don't, I don't know if I remember what I was saying. What was the second one? Anyway, moving on. Um, a family and tribe here in reverse. You feel as though they're not really your family and tribe because they don't understand you in that sense, and it brings about brings about a hole in the soul and sadness. Five represents change as well. There's a lot of stagnant sadness energy here and the only, I keep getting like you feel like you're trapped, like you can't get out even if you wanted to. But the only way you can let go of this sadness is if you do something about it, if you make the change with the number five here, you change it. You Sometimes you have to realise that's in your power to change it. This is really heavy energy. I'm, I'm really, I feel really bad for whoever's in this energy right now. If there's anything else I can please help with with the guidance, let me know. My son's just coming in and he's listening to this on, uh, listening to something on his tablet with the alarm thing. It's often all different sirens. And as you can hear, it's like the sirens going. It's like an alarm going off in your head and it's happened many a time where you've thought, oh, maybe I should listen up, but you don't and you continue. It's toxic and it's unhealthy, so... Make of that what you will. You have to make your own decisions and your own choices in life and it will lead you where you want to be led. But just know it's through our choices that we are actually led where we want to go because we have free will. We have the choice to do what we want. You have to take that chance. If you want to take a chance, then do that. What's this chance about? 